Welcome to day two. I'm just outside the sports hall now. I had a terrible sleep last night. It was like this. See how sunny this is? I'll put a picture in now of how sunny it was at midnight. Or well, eight minutes past 12. It was like it was the middle of the day. It was ridiculous. So I couldn't sleep. Bed was terrible. And I had about six hours sleep. So yeah, ready to go and do it all again. With the uh, with the soccer camp, still no sign of the bags. The wash bag, which is in my suitcase, that hasn't turned up either. I've got dry skin, my skin is chapped. This cold air isn't doing it any favours out here. It's absolutely ridiculous, but it's all good when you get to see sights like that. <coughs> and you get sights like that. And we're going on the snowmobiles today as well, so can't wait for that. I'm gonna get my GoPro set up. Either on me, I don't know. I've got all, I've got all my air bits to get it set up with as well. So I can't wait to show you that as well. But we're just outside here now. The very laid back the Norwegian, so it starts in 33 minutes. So it's half nine now. I'm going to start the soccer camp at 10 and we've still got to have something to eat so Christine's going to bring us some food up as well because we're not, obviously not staying in a hotel so she's going to bring us some food and some coffee we're going to get that through down our necks before within the next half an hour still stinking, got all the same clothes on so fingers crossed that these cases turn up today so just a little update on the weather as you can see, the sun is shining. I've got my sunglasses on. But it's minus three and feels like minus seven. So strange. So strange over here. And obviously this is like a summer to everyone that lives over here. And don't get me wrong, it is still warm, but it's still cold as well. <laughs> it's so hard to explain, but here we are. Right, that's the first session out the way on Saturday, all done and dusted. Great little morning session. So we've just been to the shops and bought some new underwear and socks because we need it. We can't wait for these cases any longer and there's still no sign of them. But Christine just asked me to try these. Jungle Vral, how'd you say that Christine? jungle vral so what it is it's salted licorice you can open these yeah, yeah, look at them there yeah. look at that look at all the salt on that let's see <laughs> do you like them? Yep. So good. I like the salt. <laughs> Not for me then. It's the salt that's the worst part. Zero out of ten. Ah. Oh. Do not recommend them at all. Salted licorice. Not for me then. So there we go, 
day two done and dusted back home at the uh, the student accommodation that we're in at the minute just had a quick shower and back into our normal clothes See you no not yet he's not here so we're just waiting for finn to come and pick us up now and Ronnie then is. oh is it ronnie we're just waiting for ronnie to come and pick us up and then we're gonna be getting out on the snowmobiles as well it's five o'clock now so we'll be out on these and then hopefully by the time we're done that our suitcases will have arrived but we're gonna get as i say we're gonna get picked up now by ronnie get on the snowmobiles and then we're gonna get out to the cabin so there's a cabin out and i don't even know how to explain it the plains out in the mountains somewhere where we're gonna go out and have some pizzas out there with christine and finn it's their cabin that they own so i've got the gopro i'll take it along with me on that um, so yeah we'll, uh, i'll see you when we get picked up in a minute and make our way to the cabin It's Davin, on his own. <laughs> you can see the mountains there. See the way they've got like little fences on there that stops with the snow when you have avalanches. I, mean, I don't know how effective they are, like, but I do know years, years ago when we first came, there'd just been an avalanche and a few houses got destroyed and a few people died, to be fair. So. It does happen, it's quite dangerous when you sat back thinking about it and that your hostel is there and the mountains right behind you. It's quite scary, but we're all right at the minute because, it, because of the temperature there's hardly any snow, so I can't forecast any avalanches. Where's our lift now? We're about to get into our car. Here they are. Let's go. There we are, there's Finn and Christina over there. Ah. So, we just met up with Finn and Christina, we're going to get on the snowmobiles now and get out to the cabin. Ah! <laughs> We've got this one, it won't start. It's because they got the gun on the back. It's too heavy. So what? I'm just trying to charge the battery on this one now. And it's not the warmest. Let me check what the temperature is here. Minus minus three. Feels like minus twenty-five. So we've just got the ski mobiles over to the cabin. Oof, that was cold down on my face. Look at this. I'm just gonna go in the cabin now. Go in the cabin, warm up a little bit and then we'll get back out on them in a second. Christine's getting the hot dogs on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It sounds like Finn coming in behind us. We need the hot dogs to warm up before we get out on the uh, <laughs> snowmobiles. Look at this. Other place. Oh, 
I'm I'm probably probably over something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> it's quite bad, actually. He's still a solution. I think the blue power danger. I'm saying I'm water. Do you need tight Just keep it like that? Yeah. Do you need me gun? I'm not facing any. I have a warm neighbor. I bet. <laughs> Is that all right, someone? Okay, maybe you can try some. Nice! That's all over. Whoa, that actually made it through, isn't it? You think you need masks? Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this is like your summit, this Hello. is like our winter. <laughs> Yeah, I feel very good. Uh, nine to go. You're the lonely one. He's got the biggest oh, yeah. ass. <laughs> 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 Hello. Is it on the bank? Yeah. Oh, here's the bank. Ready. Come on, Finn. It's still on! Hey! <laughs> Gotta be careful for polar bears here.
So we just got on top of one of the mountains here as you've just seen in the footage. That's unbelievable, look at them views. Look at that. Look at that. Is Christine there, Darren there? Bye! Bye, bye. <laughs> hey, wait there! Right, time to get back down to the cabin. Get this back on the helmet. Off we go. There we go. Christine's pizza. No, that was Finn's. Christine's cooking. That's fine. <laughs> Usually I do everything, so that's why this happens. <laughs> Come on, Christine. Thought you were the professional. She's paid to do this. <laughs> <laughs> That view out there is unbelievable. So we're just back now from the snowmobiles. What an experience that was. That it, it's unbelievable. We've done it before, but I've just had a little look at the footage as well and um, before I'm editing it, and that's unbelievable. Fringes everywhere. I've got wind burn, but it's definitely worth it. Get this on your bucket list to come to Svalbard and borrow Finn's snowmobile. There he is. So we've just come back, got back to the cabin now. We've got some homemade pizzas on the go. Finn's just burnt his first one. There he is there, trying to make sure it doesn't go on fire. So we're going to have these and some good news is that the suitcases have come in to the airport so we'll go and get them at some point later as well or well, they're supposed to be dropping them off but yeah turn out to have some pizza chill out do you think what do you reckon on the polar bears whether they might smell the pizza maybe maybe oh dude okay. you'll see that you've just yeah. burnt it and turn away <laughs> <laughs> well time to get some unburned pizza down us. Got some ham, spicy jalapenos. Got beef and cheese and Finn's famous pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Finn's famous pepperoni pizza. That scared all the polar bears. Or <laughs> try to do like it. <laughs> yeah, that's what they like actually. Yeah. <laughs> Right, we've had our pizza, had our fill, now ready to go back, now back to the dorm. We've had a, we've had the call from the airport to say our suitcases are in as well. So we're going to go and pick them up, get changed, and then we're going to go down to the local pub, Carlsberger. So we're just going to have one or two drinks just to relax now. Um, after today, we're on the home straight, we've got the final day tomorrow for the footy camp. And we've got a bit of skiing apparently as well, which I've never done before. So really looking forward to that. Hopefully we can get that done and then the Liverpool matches on tomorrow as well. So we're gonna might be a little bit tight for time, but definitely want to do skiing. I don't mind missing the Liverpool match if I get to do some skiing. Um so yeah, gonna jump back on the ski mobiles, get back to the car, back to the airport, get the suitcases, freshen up. And then I'll take you to the Carlsberger pub. Let's go. <laughs> ah, we sit up. Oh, man. Oh. Man. Slow down. Go on. Oh, she's so scary. Ah. <laughs> Good, yeah. 
That was horrendous. I've just been sat on the back of that all the way home. All the way back to the car. I've been sat on this. No seatbelt. Holding on to a box that moves. Good job, health and safety are here. What are you doing? Right, excuse the fringe, I've just had a hat on. But just as we were going home, Finn has said, do we want to take a little trip up to Mine 7? So Svalbard's got mines on the island. Six of them don't work, and the seventh one is the last working mine where they mine for coal. So we said, let's come up here and have a look at the views and wait till you see this. It's going to be a million times better than this fringe here. Jesus Christ, what is that? Right, let me show you this view now. Look at that. That's down where we're all living down there. That's where everyone lives. But look at that for the view. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable, can't believe it. What a place. Get it on the bucket list if you haven't been here. Off we go. So, bad news. Only one bag's being delivered from the airport and it's not mine. So I've still got this gear on that I've had on for two days now. So that's a massive claim that's going in. I can't believe it. Oh, I was looking forward to getting in a change of clothes then and having my wash bag with me, but hey oh, what's one more day? The time is now. Let me check what time it is. It's 10 o'clock here anyway, so I'd only be getting changed for the night for a couple of hours to go down to the pub, so we're just gonna head down that road there where you can see it running through. So we're just gonna go down that road there to Carlsberger and just have a couple of drinks to relax and wind down and uh, hopefully get our suitcase, get my suitcase in the morning. So let's go. Let's get down this pub now and drown my sorrows. It, it sounded like uh, badass people. Time is it? Have you got the time? 12.06 What? 12.06? So you just got out of Carlsberger The local pub And as you'd expect that Six minutes past midnight To be pitch black Yet here we are So it looks like it's gonna be <laughs> see me slip. Looks like it's gonna be another sleepless night. At no suitcase. I'm gonna try and get that at seven o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go down the airport. There it is. There's our dorm there, straight ahead. With the sun beaming into it. It's only ten past midnight. Where's this fella going? Why is he out here at this hour? It's a real hour. Look at that. Look at the sun shine. Look at the sun. Mine's on the right, but that's that's ridiculous. Oh. That's ridiculous, the sun. 